been doing foundation Friday since I got on YouTube. The LA Girl Pro and everything over here, I still have these to review. But I'm going to stop doing foundation Friday and here is why. Foundation Friday came fast. No, it's Makeup Monday. As you can see, I'm all prepped, primed, and ready to go. We're going to be reviewing the Revlon um, Photo Ready Insta Filter. Everybody is with this play on this word, this filter, and this Insta, I guess, from Instagram, I guess, Snapchat. I don't know, but let's get into it. New off the drugstore shelf. So my face is primed and set with the NYX Angel Veil and Dr. Brand's Pour No More. The deal with this foundation, you're supposed to twist up and it comes off and you let the sponge in the top do the work. I am in the shade Caramel. Um, there was Cappuccino and Mocha that was deeper than me and this comes in 12 shades. So again, a new foundation that only comes in 12 shades. So let's pack this on. I guess you just pack and keep twisting and see, but already I can tell you I'm going to go on with a beauty blender or a brush because I ain't digging this. Sometimes foundation are not, you know, they're not coagulated with a lot of product. And my NARS is rolling on really rough. Like it's tugging, like it's almost like it's, it's getting stuck in mud. This might not be good, y'all. You do get one ounce in the bottle and I'm already in the process of I might as well keep on going. The description says it's a new flawless foundation with a built-in blender like I stated. Um, our innovative formula works with your skin and even to smooth your skin tones while leaving you fresh with a natural finish and a full rate of definition shades. That's already not true. Keep in mind this foundation does say it's medium buildable for all day wear. I had to go in and do some tweaking y'all. My Sephora Micro Smooth brought this back together along with highlighting and contour because I was looking very very patchy and ashy. And you still might can see it a little bit. So 12 shades is nothing to go run home to mom about. Um, and I can honestly tell you I don't know if drugstore foundations feel like you know, what else do you expect from us because it's affordable? Well, this was $15. And for all the work I had to do, like, I'm going to give it a wear test. But in my heart of hearts, I think this is going back. I had an epiphany while I was shopping. I just can't support brands that's not inclusive to everybody. There's no way we still begging people to take our money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to review what I have. But after that, if you're a company that don't include everybody... I'm not buying. The end. It is 10.20 p.m. I had this foundation on since 1 p.m. That's actually um, 9 hours and 19 minutes too long. I knew within the first minute this was going to be a no. This foundation is super dry and ashy and patchy-like. Maybe the combination of the Dr. Nick, Dr. Brant's and NYX was too much for a... The foundation doesn't even say it mattifies and dimethicone and talc is in it, but it's like the sixth ingredient in it, so it shouldn't have overshadowed the other things that it's made of. Now, I am no stranger to the two primers that I use. Will I be willing to use this again with like a silicone-based primer? Absolutely not because those don't work on me. On this good 65 degree day, I was thinking I'm going to sweat some, my natural oil is going to come out, I'm going to get a little bit dewy, it'll all settle in negative that did not happen on combination oily skin i know it works for me this did not work for me that doesn't mean it won't work for you but it just did not work for me now I understand just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you i just i'm not going to have another episode of waste my coin 2017 so with that being said i got two words for revlon refund please see y'all in the next video